Another look at uh, Windows here. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to use uh, change NT password to uh, change or uh, to clear out or change uh, a Windows user's password from Linux and also upgrade them to administrative pri privileges if you'd like to do so. But here in this example, we've got a computer with three users, all password protected. Bill Gates here is the administrator, and the other two are just regular users. Now, uh, I've been working uh, on a custom distro. It's a very simple, small custom distro, about 50 uh, megabytes, uh, based on slacks. And basically, when you boot off this CD, uh, it auto runs, and what it does is it finds uh, your Windows hard drive, goes to the SAM file, finds all the users inside, upgrades them all to administrative privileges, and clears out their passwords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot uh, to that live CD, and we'll see how it works. And uh, here we go, we're booting to it. You get a little menu here you can uh, copy to RAM or just run in text mode. Uh, copy to RAM will allow you to take the CD out and walk away uh, once it's copied to RAM. Uh, but really this is a pretty fast process so that's not really needed um, but I left the option in there just in case you wanted it so we're loading here now I do want to say that the script uh, this live distro and the script that I use to do all this assumes that you have only one installation of Windows on the system and it's a normal install you don't have your SAM file inside a now actually let me talk while we're looking at the screen here you can see that now all the users are upgraded to admin and they are now blanked out their passwords and um, when it's done running it will shut down and it will restart the computer um, so it's that simple to upgrade all Windows users to uh, administrative privileges and clear out their passwords uh, this is the website I've set up where you can get that but let me start up uh, Windows XP here again and we'll boot into Windows and we'll see if we can log in to any of those users uh, now that we've run our live distro. Now this is all done with one simple script it's only a few lines long which I'll show you here in a minute but here we go we're booted in I'll pick a random user I'll pick Linus Lieberman click on him didn't ask for a password we're logging in uh, this is actually the first time I'll be logging in as this user so it might take a few seconds to log in but Linus Lieberman, no password, admin, same with the other two users. Um, now, let me show you where you can get this uh, live distro and how it works. So I'll turn off this uh, virtual machine here, turn that off, and we'll go back to my website here. And the link for this website is filmsbychris.com forward slash custom distros. It'll bring you to the main page here. Currently I just have this one distro, although I have some ideas for some other distros. Mainly they're going to be small distros uh, that uh, basically automate stuff that you would normally want to do. Um, so here we are. Uh, the one that I just showed you I've called uh, CHNTPW all version 1. So it's change NT passwords all version 1. Click on that over here or in the sidebar where it says distro list. Uh, and here we are with a, a quick description of the uh, distro and then you just click on the ISO file here to download it and then you can burn it to a CD or install it onto a flash drive and uh, I already showed you how it works and it's that simple now let me show you uh, what it's doing though this is what is on the live CD once you burn it if we go into the slacks folder here and we go to root copy we can see that there's uh, the ETC file folder I mean and the rc.d folder and the rc local file which is what I've told you in the past runs as root whenever uh, you boot your computer so this is will be running when you start up the live CD it will start this script and this is the script right here it's going to go to your mount folder where all your hard drives are and it's going to search for the SAM file which contains all your Windows users and passwords it's going to change directories that file and then it's going to create some temporary text files. I probably could have cleaned this up a little bit and actually probably done all that in a much shorter, but it works. Uh, and then here it's going to run change NTW, uh, PW uh, with the SAM file. And it's one by one going to take each user, upgrade them, 
change their password, uh, and then here at the end it's going to shut down the computer. Uh, so it's that simple, and I hope you uh, play with this distro. Yeah, it's meant for fun and to test the security on your system. Now, if you have a system that you want to protect from uh, live distros, because pretty much any time you boot from a Linux live distribution, uh, you're, you're bypassing uh, any software security on the system, because when you're booting onto a live CD, you have root privileges. So the best way to protect yourself is to do total disk encryption. Unfortunately, uh, Microsoft does not allow full disk encryption on their operating system. So if you're running Windows, you can't encrypt your entire hard drive, so you really can't protect yourself. Uh, other options are to disable boot from CD and USB, which you would do in BIOS. Uh, the only problem is, uh, yeah, then you password protect your BIOS, uh, but at, it's very easy to get around uh, BIOS passwords, uh, which I'll do a video on here shortly. It's it's very simple. You just reset the, the motherboard. Uh, three different ways you can do it. Um, so it's really easy to do unless you're running a laptop, because then you got to take the laptop apart. But if it's a desktop, really there's there's no protection for Windows users because you can't encrypt your hard drive and you can't truly disable boot from CD or USB without actually physically removing the CD-ROM drive or and unsoldering the USB plugs. So uh, that's mainly my, my point in making this live distro is to show the, the insecurity, one of the many insecurities of the uh, Windows operating system. Now I know a lot of my viewers are Windows users, but um, you know, if you like Windows, that's great, but I'm just showing you that it's very easy uh, if you have physical access to a computer. Now, now, granted, if you have any other operating system, uh, Mac or Linux, physical uh, uh, access to the computer with a live distribution will give you the full control of the computer unless you do full description. Once again, Apple, from uh, my understanding, does not allow that. Um, but Linux, FreeBSD, pretty much any open source operating system will allow you to do full disk encryption protecting you from live CDs. I mean, at that point, the only thing they could do is erase your hard drive, but they can't actually get to your data. So this is a quick look at security here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more videos tutorials like this, and visit filmsbychris.com forward slash custom distros uh, to view custom distros that I've designed. Have a great day.